Okay, so today I am going to do a black piece and I'm going to do it using the same tube that I used on my previous video with the pinks, purples and the blues. So I'm going to place down a black background and use the tubes to create hopefully some flames. So the paints I'm using today are all pre-mixes that I have made with Colvin & Co acrylic paint. And it was just the last of them, so I've mixed them all up into little bottles. To the orange and the yellow, I've added some of these neons, which are Chilton Arts acrylic paints. And I've also mixed up a pearlized paint by Hobby Weld. Uh, it's copper and a pearlized paint in gold by Hobby Weld as well. So I've got those here. And for my mix today, I've used one part paint, one part water, half a part pouring medium, which is this one, and half a part PVA glue. All of my colours have been mixed in the same way, except for these two little metallic pots. To them it's just one part paint, one part pouring medium, and one part water. Um, I am using this, my usual silicon. I'm going to dispense it into the little cup and move the camera around so that you can see that the canvas is nice and level. Okay, so I've just shifted everything around a little bit. Hopefully you've got a nice good view of the canvas there. So. I've put some lollipop sticks under the table legs <laughs> to get a nice flat camera. It was flat a minute ago. Okay. Okay, so I tried that again. I had to mess it up a little bit more just to get this nice and level. It is level. I am not moving it at all. So if it doesn't show level now, I'm going to freak. It's got to be me standing here, like tipping the floor. Is that even possible? No, because then it would be... One more lollipop stick, and if that doesn't work, I give in. Okay, so now I'm back. I've leveled the table properly this time, and brought you in line nicely so you can see the whole piece. If you can see from there, but we've got a lovely level canvas. Just show you the paint as I put the silicon into them. I mean, this is really, really bright yellow. I'm going to go with three drops. Let's see where that gets me. I'm not going to put any into the black. I'll just put a couple into these little pots. I'll just pop a couple more into each of these colours. Because these are half paint pots, so it's actually more paint than you might think in there. Right. I'll just get rid of that. I'm going to change my gloves so I don't put any silicon patches onto the canvas. I can't decide if this orange might need a little bit of more, uh, little bit more water in it. It globs one minute <laughs> and it runs the next. 
Yeah, I'm going to stick a tiny bit more water into that one. And of course that's me really going to be stirring the silicon into this one, which I don't tend to do. But that's okay. That's okay. And I can probably add just the leftovers out of my silicon cup, if there are any. No, there's not. Never mind, five drops is quite a good amount in the first place. Check this one. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Well, yeah, I'm probably okay with all of these now. I'll just pop them out of the way. And bring in the black. I'm just going to dive right in and pour it absolutely all over the canvas, except from the little bottom area, maybe two inches. Okay, that's a big two inches. <laughs> I haven't done anything to this canvas. I can actually see that black going straight into it. I should have gessoed it, or at least given it a once over with some acrylic first. But I was a little missing patience today. I'm going to have to bring in the rest of my black. Okay, so that's not looking like a great deal now it's on the canvas. I'm just going to get one of my trusty little dominoes because it gives you a little bit more to get hold of. And I've just brought all my black paint down onto the area that I didn't necessarily want it to be. So I'll just shove it over. It's still fine. <laughs> I'm just going to carefully go slightly around the side with a paintbrush at this point because it's just going to make my life easier. Okay, so they're all touched up to a degree. What do I need? So I've got my tubes, which I've already used for my pink, purple and blue piece and abandoned them on the table when I came out of here. So they're all painting, but I really don't think it's going to make a tiny iota of difference. I'm not leaving the paint sitting in them long enough for it to interact with the paint that's already dried there. So I'll place one here, with a gap, one here, with a gap, and one here. So quite a lot of the paint is going to go over the sides, which is okay. We'll pop it there. Now, if I had a moment, I would check precisely who it was 
who gave me this tip, they told me to place the tubes onto the canvas before I put the paint, the background paint there. And then that way the paint's not going to help the paint inside the tubes flow out. Bingo, makes perfect sense. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start loading my tubes up. I mean, potentially they really aren't straight because I did them. And then the paint's probably going to still pour out anyway. So, what can you do? Right, so I'm going to start putting these colours in in no real particular order. I'm just watching for the malt escaping straight away because I won't be amused. Yeah, I can already see it coming out of that middle one. It's okay, it isn't the end of the world. Take some red and pop it into the in fact, I think I'll go with yellow, actually, into the two tubes that I hadn't poured on. Nice glug of yellow in there. Oops. And then I'm going to take some copper into the yellows. and some gold into the orange. And then I'm going to go with red into the one that started with yellow. And then red into the other one with yellow. yellow into the one that started with orange just going to put one drip of black into each. take a, a little bit more mm, I'm not going to do anything else to that I'm going to pour some black out in front of it across. I'm not going to take them the entire way to the top of the canvas. Hopefully they'll be just perfect um, and create nice wispy, wispy tips. Right. Okay, so 
we're, we're ready to just... Oh, it's created a lovely suction there, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm good with that. Hmm. Now I bet you there's some lovely red underneath there. Same as that one. Yep, let's just crack on and go again right away. I'm just going to put a small amount here. That might make the paint start to come out, but I'm okay with it. So this side I'm going to begin with yellow, doing the opposite of how I started before. Now I'm not going to stick entirely to what I did on that one because chances are I won't even remember properly. Right, do the same thing again. And now I'm just going to start moving the paint around a bit. These have gone really straight, I really don't want that. I'll move my mic out. Oh, I've got black on me now, haven't I? I'll move my mic out of the way for a sec. And we'll start over here. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of tilting. Right, what I need to do is I need some more black in between these flames because they're just going to mingle together if I'm not too careful. more black on this area as well. 
It should encourage it to flow because it didn't move quite as nicely as all the others. just going to go again okay so some parts are beautiful <laughs> story of my life and some parts are hideous I'm just going to come along with my heat gun a little bit and blow the paints this way and that way. <laughs> I'm just going to add a tiny bit more black before I blow it in the other direction. Well, I'm certainly. I don't mind it, it looks nice. It's got some beautiful, beautiful areas. It's how much of this is going to get swallowed up by the black as it dries. That really is a concern for me. This black is a little bit runnier to try and compensate for this area that I've just scorched. Well, kind of scorched anyway. I'm going to throw a load more paint on it and see if we can ignore that. If it cracks, I don't suppose it's really going to cause me that many issues because fiery piece will kind of look okay with cracks. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to start daubing paint onto this and seeing if I can't fix some of the damage. Save a little bit for round my edges. So I'm going to send it back that way and just see what how disastrous that looks. It might upset me. <laughs> see this side here has not flowed at all. This one. So I'm not sure why. of paint on it as well so it should be flowing. Okay. Now I'm gonna send it oh all the way the other way. <laughs> So, if I 
probably even out these black bits and I blow a little bit more with this straw. I can get... I'm actually, I'm not done with the heat. <laughs> it's not bad enough. This area needs to give me more. Okay, I really am quite, quite pleased with it. Oh, yuck. <laughs> They've got really black lips, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to get my little stick and go around evening out these black edges. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful puddle. Ooh, can't wait to get my hands on that one. Now I've just evened it out somewhat. It shouldn't be too difficult to finish up when I come back. But if I'd have left this, it would have all dried to a point where I just couldn't spread it out. I think that's been... My daughter just came and said, right, 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 five minutes. That feels like longer than five minutes ago. And I said, tell me when it's been five minutes. <laughs> School will be sending out a search party. signalling me. Take a bit longer. <laughs> well, if this piece keeps some of its colours, I am going to be so impressed. I'll be back and I will show you as soon as I'm back. Lovely close ups. So I'm happy with that. I'm settled. I'm leaving it. I'll just show you a little bit of detail. Beautiful. You see all the cells, all the wispy bits. Yep, I'm a happy bunny. It's definitely fiery. <laughs> Whether or not the black swallows up the colours are actually remains this way is yet to be seen. Oh, but it's pretty. Look at all those pretty colours. It's a bit thick around the edges. So I can maybe expect some cracking or it not to dry very nicely, but we will see. Fingers crossed. And there we have it. So, with that we're all done. The children are back from the schoolroom. The painting's finished and I'd actually call it a success. I'm thrilled with the flames that I got today. So, let me know what you think. <laughs> that was a little pause there while I work out what on earth I'm even saying. My brain's gone into children mode. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks a lot. Catch you next week. Bye.